All right. Here I am. I'm going to make this a quick one tonight, I think. Mostly because nobody's even usually here, so really no point in doing a long stream. I'm not playing any game tonight, so we're going to make it quick. <clears throat> so what I got here, or uh, what I've done hobby-wise so far, I've got some of the board done. I need to texture, dent, and beat up this board. You can get the whole thing. Let's move these out of the way. So this is going to be a snowboard on one side, and on the other side, it's going to be a partial snowboard. If I get it, oh shit! I just lost. I just lost some 15 mil figures somewhere. Where the hell did they go? Two of them. Oh, there's one. Popped right out. I'm going to stick them back on my paint handles here. I'd begun painting them. Let's see. Talking to nobody. All right. Hmm. This is a... Uh... Quite aggravating here. There we go. Okay. Almost get the whole thing. So this is the new size of the board. Of the boards. If I pull the camera all the way back, I think I can just about get it. The whole thing in the camera shot. Just about. There's one edge right there. There's the other edge right there. Almost get the whole board. So, the old board was this one. It's the same size. I ended up cutting it down and uh, coloring in the edge that I cut. So it's now a three foot board. I think I went over this on a Sunday. So I did an impromptu Sunday stream and explained that. So this is what I'll be working on if I end up working on anything tonight. I might not. So that's the board. This is the terrain. I need a little bit more, but they are hedgerows or hedge mazes. Sorry, uh, details are right. I did it at uh, 0.16 millimeter, so I need it to print fast. I got more coming, but this is all I got so far. So I'm basically going to do a hedge maze. Of course, I need to paint this stuff up. The other terrain I need for the encounter is objective markers which I already have because it's base it's the same exact encounter except it's just not going to be in a cave and it's going to be against elves so that's the terrain I'll probably print out another two build plates worth of maze should be good actually let's go ahead and set it up on the board and see see how much of it we can fill up so that's, that's almost the whole board in the shot almost so that's the edge you can so could do something like uh, definitely gonna need more. So we're trying to do hedge maze. Uh, I would say I'm gonna need more for certain. Uh, I guess you can kind of do rooms. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Eh. I think we'll be able to fill up a board with another two build plates worth of this stuff from that edge. I had considered um, doing all of the edges like that along the whole the whole thing, but we'll see. We'll see how many uh, how many of these I can get printed out by Friday. And then usually Friday I have to uh, start painting stuff up. To have it ready for Saturday.
Yeah, good enough. Yeah, so a couple more build plates worth. This is definitely not enough. But that's the idea. I'll do a hedge maze. Um, and then that'll be the terrain for the next coming up encounter. Uh, for minis, I started painting them. All I, all I did was get a coat of red on the L's and I have to paint up a uh, another um, henchman. So there's my follower. Short bow or self bow. I'm bringing up any closer, it's not going to focus. Never focuses. So that's that guy. And then I got these elves. Here's one of the crossbow elves. Let's see a crossbow there. They look okay. I'm going to go red armor and then cloth. I painted up one pretty much all the way. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. Where's my focus sheet? There it is. Okay. We're going to focus. There's only one thing in this shot, and it does not want to focus on it. You got some lenses that snap over the edge of the foam coming in. That should help. Well, you have to see from down here. Let's try bringing the phone in. Maybe that'll help. Does that help at all? Nope, that does not help. Well, there it is in any event. So white cloth, red armor, dark brown weapon, shield, and handle. I'm probably going to dry brush this shield with some really light brown, and the ends of this staff are blue. Or the uh, ends of the um, blades are blue. I'm going to make them kind of like icy. And this will be Ice Court. Ice Heart. What is it? Ice Court? Ice King Court? Ice Queen Court? I don't remember what it is. But anyway, it's a bunch of, bunch of elves. Crying baby in the background. Probably hear that. <clears throat> so I'll have those guys painted up. It shouldn't take much longer. And there's going to be an unboxing tonight. Oh, I got this set up right here. I'm not going to link anything or do anything like that. I'm just going to show you what I got. And the name is on the box. And if you want to look it up, you're all capable individuals. So I got this on Amazon. One of the cheaper sets on Amazon. It might have been on sale, though, when I bought it. Uh, it's a new mic, as you can plainly see. So that's what we're going to look up. Oops. All right, let's see what we got here. It's a mic plus a pop filter plus a stand or an arm. I want to say it was under 30. Oh, there's that thing. I probably won't need that. F deuce. It's weird. Don't know what those are. We'll get into that. What is this thing? Some sort of felt something. Let me get it on the camera. Okay, what do we got here? This looks to be what? The actual microphone stand? A holder? just came in the mail today <sighs> and that's the actual microphone holder we'll get into it I'm not familiar with microphones really so all right here's the poppy pop filter oh that's nice and sturdy this arm 
It looks flimsy from the picture, like it wouldn't actually work. Well, let me put it over my mic on my chest. Whatever works. Oh, there it is, a pop filter anyways. It doesn't look like it does anything, but I don't know, maybe it does. Here's the microphone. Heavy. Solid metal. That's a heavy microphone. Wow. I mean, it's impressive in that sense. So that must be the... Is it USB? It is USB. So that's the, that's the cable that I'm going to have to run to from somewhere. Let's see. Well, it's, it's long. I'd say six feet. Maybe, maybe a touch. No, probably about six feet. So six foot cable connects to the mic. Got a C clamp or a G clamp. Uh, also pretty solid. So I got this boom arm that this right here that I'm shaking this boom arm. This seems feels cheap. Parts of it. This feels pretty good. This feels pretty solid. So. And the arm. So so far it looks pretty good. For I think it, I want to say under thirty. I can look it up. Actually, I can look it right up. Let's look it up. You can't see what I'm doing, but that's fine. Drinking coffee is what I'm doing. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see here. All right, orders. Okay, so I paid, I don't know, I have no idea. So the whole order was 45, but there was two items. Doesn't say. Yeah, let me go see if it's that price now. Oh, this was twenty dollars. This whole set was twenty bucks. That seems pretty damn cheap now that I'm looking at it. It looks pretty good for twenty bucks. I mean, just the material alone is solid metal. Everything, everything's solid metal. This is not. This is plastic. That's all plastic. That is not solid metal. Yeah, even this part right here is plastic. But everything else pretty much is solid metal or aluminum, not really solid metal. And that mic feels heavy. Yeah, this was 20 bucks, I guess. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, see. I think I'll put this over here. Yeah. All right, we're going to stick this over here. Sort of in the way, not really in the way. Now this should be all right. I might have to turn my head to talk into it sometimes, but until I start doing stuff where I show my face, there's no reason to show my face, so I'm not gonna. I don't really care. But whenever there's a reason to show my face, this clamp is nice. It's got a spongy. Yes, that's good. That clamp's better than my other clamp. This is pretty good. This, honestly, I think I paid like almost 20 bucks for this stupid boom arm. And this boom arm is better. Although it only has the mic attachment, I guess. That's the downside. Alright, so. There's my boom arm. Wow, that's a nice arm. And we can go ahead and put this in here some, somehow. <laughs> some way. Hmm. Hey, that's what instructions are for, huh? Yeah, so this this definitely attaches. Let's get the boom arm in the shot, actually. So it's attached to my desk. It's just a G-clamp, and you literally just stick it in like a slot. And then this just screws on here, it seems. I've never done an unboxing. And this isn't really a review, but it sort of is. Alright, get in there. Let's go now. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, so that's tight. Okay, all kinds of... This kind of free floats on these elastics. So this must just sort of... Must just sort of slot right in there, huh? That's exactly how it works. It just sort of slots right in. So this has some tension to it. The This ring, you can just kind of squeeze it as you can see. And that's basically all that holds this mic in. I feel like it could fall through. I don't really like that. I mean, it's not gonna. It's not gonna fall through, I don't think. Is it supposed to? Yeah, there's gotta be some more. Oh, here we go. We'll, see, we'll get there. Who needs instructions? So there's these little knobs that must screw in, which they do screw in. Right, and there's some felt. I'm going to have to look up what those strips do. There's these little knobs here. And they must, and they do. No, they don't screw in there. Looks like something screws in there. It's not these knobs. Alright, I guess let's consult the instruction manual. It's this tiny because you're supposed to just know how to do it. USB microphone with screw protector. This is a screw protector. For for what? Where does it go? Where does it screw into? Okay, I guess. Cable belts. Oh, these. Oh, these are nice. I can use these elsewhere too. These are uh, tie up your cables. So you must. These just, uh, yep, they just kind of wrap around something. Oh, that's nice. And there's four of them. We can use them for other things, too. Pretty good. Still not? Oh, that wizard should be. Yeah, here it is. Oh, that came smushed. That's kind of a bummer. All right, well, that goes over the mic. Let me pull it out. That goes right over. What do they call it? Wind, wind, wind muff, wind protector. Let's see here. I mean, it's got all the accessories that you would see, you would think you would need. I see. I don't know what I need. I have no idea. It's got everything you think you'd need. At least for an amateur like myself. Uh, this just connects on to the arm wherever you put it. Hmm. So, this just sort of connects onto the arm wherever. I don't want to break anything. This also has a soft padding to kind of... And then this, as you can see, is on like a weird arm. And this just, yeah. Just go ahead and put it right in front of it. So I can talk into it like that. Pretty good. I lost that screw hole protector, whatever that is. <clears throat> Alright, that's there. Anything else in this box? Seems to be it. So that's easy enough. We'll save the box in case it turns out to be shitty. Let's just let's just try and see what on earth those little these little things rolling around are. I'm dying to know. Don't see what where, where they screw into. Oh, I get it. So these zip. So they give you four, but you kind of you're probably gonna need somewhere near four. These tie to the. So the cord will be running from the mic, and you can tie it along this, so it kind of keeps it out of the way. And runs down, which is good. That's good. Yeah, this looks like it'd be a little good little setup for twenty bucks. Uh, we'll just see how the 
uh, we'll just see how the quality is. We'll see that in a minute. Because I am going to plug it in in just a moment. Screw shockproof kit onto thread end of scissor arm. The hell? Oh, that thing. I just don't, I don't understand what these are for. I don't know. They don't seem to fit into anything. Other than possibly that side, but they don't fit into that side. It's got a nice mute button right on the mic. That's good. It's got a volume button right on the mic as well. Also good. Although it's kind of hard to access. So here, here's what I'm seeing. Let me bring it into the camera here. So you got the volume and a mute button. But you slide it in and it's got the little cutout here on the C. The C clamp. I don't even know what that is. Whatever you call it. It's got a little slot here so you're supposed to slide it in like so. But now all this stuff's in the way. So I can probably hit that button easy enough. But I'm like reaching in and trying to get at the volume. I mean, twenty dollars. You know, what do I expect? And there's definitely holes in the side here that I don't understand. What on earth those are for? I feel like they should go in here, and then it would like hold it, keep it from falling. But I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's supposed to screw in there, but they don't fit. So it shows. Oh no, wait here. Ah, there you go. So it screws in the back here, and what does it do? Does that lock it in place? That locks it in place. No, it doesn't. It keeps it from sliding down more, though. Or what does it do? Hmm. Let's look at the instructions again. wants me to put one in the bottom like this and then hang it upside down ah okay so contrary to what my instincts told me it wants me to hold the mic like this for some reason wants the mic to be upside down and then you put these little things in here and that holds it now can I go to the further up one wouldn't that be better let me uh try it like this put it on the further Further up one. Now, I don't know if that's going to interfere with the... But it's holding down that uh, wind filter and it keeps the buttons up. That's not how it shows it though. It definitely shows it... Uh, up here. wants it to drop down further all right well that's how it wants it upside down then you plug this in like so okay here we are now I run gotta make sure I have enough movement out of it and I run this wire along here. Using these nice straps. These are these are nice. I might look up these for just other functions. Keep my cords tidy. Okay, there's that. You kind of see it. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them, but you're not gonna be able to see it. Yeah, not a bad little mic for $20.
I guess I guess I'm still I'm speaking too soon again. Now for me it works out well because my computer is basically directly underneath this boom arm, so that works. I don't have to go very far. I don't think it's designed for portability, but if it's just a USB and a, basically a clamp holding it to the desk, you can pick it up and move it pretty easily, I'd say. Let's get this filter here. One thing I don't like is this filter like untwists. I don't know how to keep it from untwisting. So it screws in. Here, I'll unscrew it. So it kind of screws in right there. And I can unscrew it. You can kind of see it unscrewing down here, and it won't stay tight. So I need to keep it screwed in really good. It's like hard to do though. All right, there we go. Hey. It doesn't like to go that way. We'll get there. Still learning how to use this here. That's probably good. That's probably good. Not so sure about this pop filter, but. All right, and I guess that's it. Don't really think I need another one of these things. Two does it. I guess I can strap it down to the bottom down here. Again, off camera, not going to be able to see it. doesn't matter, though. Use your imagination. Basically zip tying with reusable zip ties. All right. Let's plug it in and hope my stupid USB port works. All righty. Now, let's see, is it here? Let's see if I can find it. Where could it be? Settings, mm -hmm. devices, it is, so it's there, it's the F-Deuce Pro Audio, so it's there, let's, uh, let's see if OBS will, will can find it, add audio. What is it? Audio input capture? Audio output capture? Audio input capture? There it is! is. Alright, so... Bring it to my face here. Here's a testing. I'm going to switch between the two. So this is my lavalier, lapel, whatever, microphone that I got clipped in my shirt, which I just figured out how to use. <laughs> but here it is. So that's this. Now we're going to mute that and switch over to the other mic. And this is the new mic. Now I'm pretty much right up on the pop filter, so I'm pretty close to it. I have no idea how, how good or bad this sounds. Um, let me see here. I can't plug in headf uh, headphones either. <laughs> Should have plugged in headphones so I can hear this. But, so, there's going to be an echo because i got to listen to it over my audio speakers here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. 
Better if I'm not up right up on it. Better if I'm not up right up on it. All right, now I'm back to the lapel mic. All right, now I'm back to the lapel mic. A bit of a hum right, in the background for the lapel the mic. Lapel mic. This is much better. This is much better. All right, yeah, we got a winner for sure. So for twenty bucks, I think this lapel mic was pretty close right, to. Yeah, we got a winner for sure. So for twenty bucks, I think this lapel mic was pretty close to. To twenty bucks, so. I'm sorry, I'm like hearing myself. To twenty bucks, so. All right, so. I'm sorry, I'm like hearing myself. Let's mute this out. All right, let that mute. Yeah, hell yeah. 20 bucks for this? Yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Let's see how the mute function works. Yeah, that mute function worked beautifully. Let's turn the volume up and see if that makes a difference. Hold on, let me turn it down first. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. All right, let's try that again. Na, 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 hey, 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 goodbye. Yeah, all right. I was just watching the decibels. I can't actually hear this. Sorry. I'll never sing again. Pretty good. Mute. Unmute. Beautiful. $20. You know what? I would suggest this. What was it? The F Deuce. The F Deuce Pro X9 or something. Let me look it up. You know what? I, I, you know, I, I like this. This is a good mic for a beginner like myself. I would definitely, definitely highly suggest this mic. I'm impressed with it. Very cheap, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Copy. Let me just make sure this doesn't. All right, so I think that's good. So I'm gonna paste this in the chat. There it is. $20 for this mic. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not sure if this pop filter does anything, but I've got it now. So uh, It's a bit big. Um, desk space for me is a bit tight, but honestly, compared to the... I don't even know where my audio was coming from before. I don't have a built-in mic to my computer, but... Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. impressed definitely impressed with this $20 we'll see how long it lasts I think it'll probably break in like uh, three months but not bad at all all right well that's that's all I had planned you know what let's um I have to take a test of this not right in front of my mouth because that can't be where it is when I'm doing stuff But it's got a volume button, so let me turn the volume to maximum. Okay. Oh, it's kind of in the way. All right, so it's a bit big. There's uh, one, one fault about it. Kind of large on the desk. Kind of gets in the way of my shoulder here. Um, let's try going up high. So now I got it above my head. Get that filter in the way here. So now it's above my head. It's a little less annoying. Oops. Right the fuck off. Alright, 
I gotta unmute my computer here. I need, I need to get headphones. I have headphones, but. All right, let's unmute this computer here and we'll take a test. Testing. 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 Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so don't have much else. I was gonna paint, I don't feel like it. I wasn't even gonna stream tonight, but I figured I'd, I would. I think that's all I got in me. So I gotta print more of this hedgerow out. This stuff will take like the whole, the whole bunch of it, I'd say two hours at the very most to paint. It's dry time is what's gonna hold me back. This is just gonna be probably undercoat brown. I'll, I'll, I'll spray it black, give it a quick undercoat of brown, yeah, I'd say brown, and then do a medium green heavy dry brush, and then a light green dry brush. It's got some vines in here, if I really want to go back and pick them out, I will, but I don't, it doesn't, it's not going to matter. It'll be fine the way it is. Some of them have a lot of vines on them, like for instance, this one's got a bunch of vines. You probably can't see because they ain't going to focus, but. And this one's got a bunch of vines on it. So. Maybe I'd pick that out. But uh, that's good enough for tonight. So I got to paint 12 elves, one follower, and some hedge mazes. I've got my tokens already painted up. I've got my, uh, what is it, the uh, exploration markers. I've got the decipher script tabs painted up from a previous game. I've got my, I got this little hazardous environmental hazard of uh, poisonous gas if it wants to fluff up. A little poisonous gas environmental hazard. Just some cotton balls glued onto a base, essentially. Uh, I need to do a, a obstacle. Thinking, thinking poisonous mushrooms, and you gotta like get your way through. I don't know. I gotta come up with some sort of obstacle. Do like a pit, like use a crater. Just shrink down a crater miniature, uh, a crater STL, really small. Just use that. Call that the obstacle. We'll figure something out. I'd also like to remake this on Tinkercad. Maybe that, you know what? That's what we can do. I'll do that tonight. So I want to remake my ruler on Tinkercad. So let me bring it up and get it all set up, and then I'll switch over to... Oh, i got to bring my mic over. This is a bit loosey-goosey. Uh, probably can hear me. Now I'm over at my computer. And let's go ahead and bring up Tinkercad. I just need to see what information shows up before I switch over. Okay, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, create new design. Let's get the window open. All right, so we are going to do window capture. 
Nope, not USB camera. That's a video capture. Cancel. Remove. So we're looking for window capture here. There it is. Okie dokie. So that should show up. Let me just take a quick look at... Yep, showed up. Alright, so... Oops a daisy, I just kicked that right off. So what I need to do... I think I was... Let me get my calibers. Not gonna be where I need them. Well, looks like no calipers. I was trying to see how thick I made this thing. I don't know, let's say. Uh, definitely thicker than 0.2 mil. I know it's gonna be, so here's, it's gonna be 10. 10 millimeter wide for sure um, that way uh, the tip of it can be one millimeter or uh, one centimeter I can use that for you know stepping an inch as it, as it were I want to go 18 inches that's self bow range so it'll be 180 Should just fit on a Ender 3. Uh, we're definitely going thicker. 0.2. No, 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 no. 2. Okay, yeah, 2 mil's good. Yeah, 2 mil's fine. Then I want to do... Let's see... Do a three mil. We have a one mil and then a three mil. Let me just nudge that in place. We're going to go ahead and drop that down to two. All right, and then we want, let's see here. I'll have this be four, because four seems to be a pretty common movement for five leagues. So let's go ahead and make that. So that'll be four mil that way. And let's have it be three mil that way. So that's four mil, and that'll be three mil. There's my mo my ruler. I'll paint the. Uh, there's a crying baby. I'll paint on the, uh, the the letters. All right. Now we need a handle. That handle is 15 mil. Yeah. Yeah, 15 mil. And it looks like it's about at least 60 tall. So we'll say 62. Because this is two. Bring that down to zero. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. And we'll just stick that somewhere in here. Let's see, so this is 40 and 30. Went over. All right, so this is 40 and 30. So we want to go up 20 minus seven and a half is 12 and a half. Oops. So 12 and a half this way. We 
get it in the middle. And then this is 30, so that would be five less than 12, so seven and a half. All right, that's roughly, yeah, that's the middle of that. Do I want the handle to be longer? No, nah, that handle's plenty long. Group that all together. All right, so I like this handle if you've seen it. Let me switch, switch cameras again. So as you can see, this handle, about half the length of your finger, so that's plenty. And it's just something to pick it up with, measure with, no problem. All right, so that's that. Bring that back up. Well, that should be plenty. Now we need to put the little notches in. And we'll make the notches one. Yeah, one mil will be fine. And two mil. 0.6 deep. That's fine. Baby's not happy. Two, nope, 1.4. Bring that up by 1.4. Now that should nestle right in there. Okay. Should I go deeper? Nah. That's plenty. Oh. Okay. So. What's this? One, so we need to switch the grid to half a mil. And then we will go ahead and pop that in halfway. Is that what I did here? I think I might have skipped it completely. All right, so now we wanna go want to duplicate over 10 and then duplicate yep and then I'll just do it a centimeter the whole way whole way down right to the end so this one I'll delete since I don't need it Sorry for the crime, baby. Everybody's sick in the house. And we can go ahead and grab this one. Bring it down here. Rotate at 90. I'm gonna have to stop streaming. She's crying too much. I'm gonna have to ugh, back. I'm gonna have to see what's going on. Okay, duplicate. one anyways right there go ahead and delete you all right so gonna go ahead and combine that whole thing so we got a four inch measuring right there 18 inch right there <laughs> she is angry Switch this back to one. All right, stick that right. Actually, we'll do, we won't do the full 10 centimeters, we'll do eight. 
Yeah, better. Give it more of a more of an edge there. Uh, and right about there. Group that together. I don't know why I do it that way, but, yeah, but I do. Um, I could do a 20 inch and then it'll be a two centimeter will fit. there so that'll work good so we've got the space in 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 the the gap here is two but the whole thing is three all right there's my new gauge there it is sizzling amur all right well there's a baby crying um, my wife's probably letting her cry, so I'll stop doing this and take care of the baby. So, we're going to call it here. I don't think anybody showed up, so I don't have to thank anybody. And that's it. Stream over.